RFP headphone users. How's that? Security 9. Or is that Security 18 when you have two of them? Ha <laughs> ha, what a genius I am. Comic. Uh, yeah, Security 9 from Ruger. We're going to shoot it. We're going to talk about it. Uh, a lot of you have been asking me about it already uh, in the last week or two since it was released. And so got a couple of them. And uh, I do have some opinions, so I will share them with you, okay? One of the, well, thing, uh, a lot of people would think, oh, no, another polymer Wonder 9. There is definitely nothing cool about that. You all see comments, you know, that uh, they're not everybody's cup of tea. Uh, in fact, some people just despise them. They hate them. Uh, oh, no, another Glock look-alike and, you know, that kind of thing. But those of us who are into the shooting uh, sports, uh, we've been caring for a while, we're into firearms uh, pretty seriously, or have been into them very long, uh, we tend to take them for what they are, I think. I guess I'm speaking for myself. No, they're not necessarily pretty. You know, you know how much I like a good old Smith & Wesson revolver, good old double action, or a Colt single action, or a nice 1911. I, I like those firearms more than these, really. Uh, but man, when it comes to function and self-protection, self-defense, uh, home defense, or whatever, it's hard to beat some of these things because they're so utterly reliable and they hold a lot of ammo and they work, you know? So as someone said, don't fall in love with your carry gun. Just get something that works. It's a hammer. It's a tool. So it's like your wallet. You don't have to be in love with it. It just needs to work and do what it's supposed to do. All right. And I'll prepare another lecture for you in the next video. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, this is the Security 9, and uh, I've been reading enough about it, and I knew we wanted to, to, to you know, request one from Buds, which I did, and, oh, man, they sell for like 300 or under 300 I think they run generally, depending on where you find them and who's having a big sale or whatever, uh, between 275 and 300 is, you know, the real price on them you can get them for, and so I thought, you know, this is going to be a popular pistol from all indications uh, you know, it's Ruger. It's probably going to work, and it looks pretty cool. I looked at some of the specs on it. I said, you know what? That thing, it doesn't weigh any more than a Glock 19. It holds the rounds and everything. It, it looks like the similar configuration, and look at the price. This thing, I don't know how it cannot be fairly popular, okay? And so I wanted to have one that I didn't have to send back after we did a video or two, and so maybe for future comparisons and that kind of thing. And, of course, it's nice to have it in the original video. So that's why I bought it, all right? Uh, and I have been shooting both of them. Uh, John has been shooting them. And we have developed opinions on this firearm, and I'll give you some of the specs and, uh, you know, the deal on the firearms. Uh, you know, I may forget something. That's okay. Somebody will cover all that. But I'll give you the basic specs and uh, shoot them and let you know what I think about it. All right? That's, that's what you pay me for. It's what you pay John and me for, right? So, bottom line is it's not a bad pistol. Okay? That's my uh, general opinion of it. Uh, and I don't want to keep repeating the phrase, for the money, but I probably will. <laughs> so, but anyway, for the money... It is quite a pistol, all right? It really is, and I know I'll repeat that. It's quite a pistol. Now, if you're comparing it with maybe your favorite SIG P320 or uh, your Glock 19 or your Walther, your H&K or some other firearms, you might have the impression that, I don't know, it feels a little cheap. It's kind of a giant uh, LCP2, which I've got out here. Uh, I didn't really want a giant LCP2. I'd rather, you know, I, have a $600 gun or, or whatever. Okay, I get that. Uh, but it really, for again, for the for 300 bucks, I'll use that as a nice round figure. For $300, man, it, which is essentially half of what a lot of these other popular, well, like the Glock 19, you know, you're talking about around half. So that's the big attraction here, in addition to the fact it needs to be a good pistol. All right. So uh, not bad. Not bad. Let me load up. I'll shoot mostly the uh, the one that's one of you are going to own. We've got a couple more mags here. I've got one with hollow points, you know, the Federal uh, HST. I'll shoot it after I shoot this one. And I have shot hollow points out of both of them and uh, not had an issue. Okay. Uh, the other thing I was doing there to start out, I thought, let's start out dual wielding since we have two of these. We're going to use a steel target or the paper target. 
And I thought, you know what? Let's just shoot into the targets because I wasn't aiming at anything, as you could probably tell. And I said, this will be maybe an illustration that how much you can miss if you're not really aiming. And I said, uh, and I told John before we started, now watch, I'll hit everything. I don't think I hit anything. <laughs> I mean, barely anything. So there's nothing like having sights on a firearm and using them, okay? You can't beat deliberate fire like this, you know? It's just hard to It's just hard to be taking aim. <laughs> that thing is, oh, I think it's empty. It was frozen. Yeah, barely. Oh yeah, there's no water in it. Minor detail. Okay, we got hollow points. Oh, but you know what? You guys always give me a hard time for not shooting a uh, two liter when I have hollow points in it. Sometimes it makes a little difference, sometimes it doesn't. That one on the ground there doesn't seem completely uh, deceased. Like he is now. That one over there either. <laughs> Let's put a hollow point on the gong. I'm gonna try a pig. I probably have one shot left or something, but there we go. Wow. Wow, I didn't count my shots very well, did I? <laughs> a lot of shots left. I killed enough game uh, after I thought the gun was gonna be empty to feed us for a few months. So uh, Anyway, the only that reminded me, John and I have been shooting, the only issues we've had is, is kind of figuring out exactly where to hold. They both print a little bit high, not much. I'd rather them print a little high than low, I hate that. And, uh, and they're easy to pull left if you're not really focused, uh, but yeah, they seem to shoot right on. It's, it's, it's all user error if you do shoot left or you're shooting too high and that sort of thing, okay? So you can see, it shoots and it's again $300 in that range. Uh, so, interesting firearm. This is the, uh, the E Gunner one. Yeah, I got the serial numbers memorized, being the genius I am. Uh, I want to mix them up. Uh, well, for one thing, they track them. You know, we get, they send them to me, send them back. We make sure on the certificate that I fill out and everything uh, when someone buys it, wins it at the auction, you know, I authenticate that and all that kind of thing. We don't want to mix them up. Uh, let me break it down real quick here. Uh, now, it is, it really is a, uh, in, in so many ways, the LCP2 uh, just beefed up steroids or whatever. It, it really is. You can see the contour. I've got some grip tape on this, but you can see the, the same kind of uh, rough on the grip, which is kind of nice. Got the big thin trigger guard, the same hammer uh, fire action, okay? So if you hate the LCP2 and uh, the, the action on it, trigger pull, you might not like it because it's exactly the same, essentially. And uh, I, I don't mind it, it's kind of, kind of nice. Uh, so and that's mine. Yeah, I purchased that a while back. I, I like it. I actually carry it sometimes. Uh, so that's kind of what it is. You can tell by the serrations and everything. It's just very much like that. Um, so let's take it apart real quick. Now, it breaks down. Uh, if you don't like having to take a pin out of that to break it down, the LCP2 or this, and, and then that is one of the things that you do have. Again, it's kind of hard to complain a lot when you keep coming back to the price of the darn thing. Some things I would be maybe uh, bashing a little more if this were a $600 gun. If it were $600, I'd be uh, talking bad about, make sure we're clear, we are, about this pin you take out instead of having a lever just to, to pull down. Now you can use a shell, and I did that, I think on the first time, you get it lined up there. and Yeah, you just pop it out with a shell. So you don't need a tool but it is a little bit simpler to get on it with a screwdriver if you have one. Or a big Bowie knife, Bowie knife, right? Slips off, you got a full length kind of rail there, a long rail, it's nice. Oh, your spring and your barrel, and uh, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is, it's a Ruger. Now, since it's hammer fired, it's a little different. Uh, you know, you don't have, it's not striker with the typical firing pin block and all that. 
as I understand from my reading it, uh, it, it should be drop safe. You know, if it's not, somebody will discover that, right? Uh, somebody with a hole in their side. <laughs> uh, that's not funny. But uh, so it, it's, it, it, uh, the hammer is supposed to have a nice block. You know, unless the trigger's pulled, it's supposed to be virtually impossible to shoot it and all, all that kind of thing or to fire it, okay? When you work the action, it, it partially cocks it and it finishes it, you know, when you pull the trigger and all that kind of thing, like a lot of modern firearms do, okay? Uh, comes apart fine, though. Uh, you do have that piece that you could lose. That's a little bigger. I like that better than the LCP-2. Uh, the gun's bigger, though. And uh, so you have that. You might consider that a negative. Uh, not a big deal for me. You know, if I'm taking my gun apart to clean it or something, I've got my tools and my stuff out, and I can probably keep up that little pin, as long as it doesn't fall out while I'm shooting, right? And those are the kinds of things that people will discover. We've shot it quite a bit now, uh, 150, 200 times, I guess. Hollow points, regular ammo, 115 grain, 124 grain, and uh, weak hand, strong hand, everything. So we've not encountered problems. I've had one, I'll tell you about, and uh, just, I would feel I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I didn't mention it. It's probably nothing. As I was shooting it, uh, it was actually mine. This one was mine that, that did it. Uh, I was shooting it and, and it hurts my finger. Notice my rubber rubber band, my band aid. It I, it catches right at the wrong place. Doesn't do it for John, because you know as I've told you before, I don't use the pad of my finger like I'm supposed to. Okay, so it catches around that joint, the bone there, so it hurts. It feels so much better and so much more fun to shoot with just that little pad there. That's why that's on my finger. Well, it was, it was hurting when I was first shooting it, the first mag or two. It just right away, ouch, I don't like that. And uh, so I thought, well, let me kind of adjust around here and get my pad of my finger on it. And it hung up once, but I think I was limp wristing. I was moving my hand around. And this is one reason I don't shoot that way. I like to get a good grip and just like that. And when I do that, guess what? The trigger contacts me right there where you're not supposed to do it. <laughs> so that's the only thing that I've had. I believe that was me. Uh, and all the shooting we've done, it's, they've cranked right on, okay? Uh, and again, this, yeah, this is the e-gunner one. Uh, you're, first of all, let me go ahead and, and size it up here and make everybody mad, compare it with a Glock 19. Well, actually, it doesn't make everybody mad. People that makes mad are the people who hate Glocks. I don't have an empty mag out here, but I'm not going to see shooting this one. I'm not going to rack one in. Uh, it's it's kind of the standard, and it's what everybody's trying to match. It appears, right? So 15 rounds uh, in that size gun, and you end up, or 15 rounds in a pistol like this, you ought to be trying, as I've been saying for years, you ought to be trying to, to match, at least duplicate as much as possible, the Glock 19, since it's so, so popular, whether you like them or not, okay? And it does. Look at that. Size-wise, it is Glock 19. I put the calipers on it. Got them out here, but it's, it's about the same thickness, and it's about the same weight. How many times have I had a firearm on a table like this, and it's a good shooter, but it's, it's like four ounces more than the Glock? and it has the same capacity and everything, but it's got a big heavy slide on it or something. Nice gun, but it's just thicker and heavier, okay? And it, it brings you back to this one, okay? How many times have I had a pistol out here? Not as much recently, because makers are doing a better job, I think. I have talked about one of the things people like about Glocks, myself included, John, and anybody I know, I think, that carries a Glock and likes them, it's, it's all melted. You know, you don't hang up on stuff. There's not a lot of edges and, and big controls. You know, it's a minimalist pistol. Again, whether you like them or not, that's what a lot of us have always liked about them. Uh, they're just a minimalist pistol, okay? Not a bunch of gauges and controls sticking out, protruding. Well, look what Ruger did. They kind of kind of did the same thing. Look at that. You know, the, all the controls are pretty well melted, fenced in small even the safety it does have a safety you don't have to use it but it's very it's a serious click you got you got to want to put it on or it's not going on okay and uh yeah and that's like some other pistols lately that have a safety but it's a very positive click you can just leave it off if you want yeah i'm not going to advise you what to do sights same thing you know contour there not hanging on everything your holster or whatever Probably a little big for a pocket pistol, but you know it's not going to be hanging on on stuff. So 
whether you like these things or not, uh, from Austria, uh, that's what that's what people want. A lot of people do. They want that the same qualities that that has. Maybe want a different pistol, but they want what that one offers, and that's why it sells. Okay, so. You can, uh, some, some people can start criticizing Ruger here, I guess, for not innovating. Oh my God, they made a Glock 19. Yeah, and that's what makes the, that's why it's gonna sell, I would say, all right? Now, I don't wanna oversell it. It's a good pistol. It doesn't have quite the, I don't know, maybe solid feel, although it feels fine. So we'll just point out the negatives and positives. I like the sights. Maybe that's because it's similar in the, in the sight picture to a Glock, right? So I like that white outline in the rear, the way it is. I like the fact they're, uh, they're smooth there. You can uh, loosen that and you can wind drift them if you need to. Uh, not you know all that adjustable, but you can drift them uh, for windage. Uh, you've got uh, the, the trigger guard's nice. It's, it's kind of undercut there, so you can get a good grip on the, the the, on the grip, the pistol, the uh, the grip feels good. It might not have quite enough friction to, to really satisfy me if I was going to carry it, but it feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. Uh, I like the feel of the grip actually better than the Glock. Okay, you know the hump on the Glock 19 is not as bad as the 17, but it still you know hits me there. I don't like it as much. This feels better. You will like the grip on this, I think. Okay. Uh, some people, I did a posting a picture of it on Instagram. It's what ugly, ugly, ugly. I guess it's ugly, but uh, it's it's very functional. It seems to me, and it uh, it fits your hand well. And it's not heavy. It's not extra heavy like so many pistols uh, that come out are. They end up being a big behemoth. And in the price range, you know, uh, you know, this is not about high points, but you know, guns like that, as I've always advised, you know, get what you can afford. But one thing that keeps people out of a nicer pistol often, and they buy a high point or something like that, is, you know, they just can't get $300, $400, $500 together. You know, at least they think they can't. And, uh, yeah, this thing, I would say, is going to cut into the market of both more expensive pistols like the Glocks and HK, all the others, name them all. Uh, and it's also going to cut in probably to the uh, market of like a high point. Yeah, because you don't have to put together much more money and you've got something that's like a Glock 19. It's a, you know, or a CZ, P10, whatever you want to compare it with. I don't have one of those. Uh, you know, in a mainstream gun, um, yeah, Ruger, you know, Smith & Wesson, you know, those kinds of names. So, I don't know, just, just thinking out loud there, which gets a little dangerous, doesn't it? Let's load up a couple of mags here. I got two. No, that's a Glock mag. Okay. Yeah, now there you go. Somebody always wants to know if we'll take Glock mags. We'll take Glock mags. Hey, no. Okay, <laughs> we'll answer that for everybody. <laughs> now, one thing I didn't look at yet is uh, the the reset is kind of weird. It, it it has kind of a long reset. You can see that. I'll release it. Click. Okay, so. There's a reset. It's a little long. It's not a big problem. It's just a couple of times I've wanted it to be a little shorter as I was shooting, but it's not a big deal. Again, for the money. You know, it, it, it may be like a little shorter reset, but it's not too bad. One other thing regarding that is, if this is a big deal for you, if you're shooting, uh, or I don't know, you just want to cock it. Have you ever done that before? I know we do that sometimes. You have a loaded mag, but you don't want to put one in the chamber and you just want to cock it or something. You're on the right to test the trigger. Uh, you can't do that. You got to pull that thing all the way back to cock it. Look how far it's back. It doesn't cock it. See, it's not cocked. You got to go all the way back. Right there, I heard it click. Now, okay, so eh, not a big deal, but just be aware of that. Okay, you got to bring it all the way back. That has to do with, I guess, being the hammer fired uh, you know, mechanism and, and the reset as well, I guess. Okay. All right. So let me load a mag here and shoot it a little more. Uh, I got four mags because I had purchased one myself and uh, I just have, I, I had a feeling and I, again, because of its, its price, I thought, well, this isn't too big a risk. I'm going to go ahead and buy one of these. We'll have a couple for the video, extra mags, and it's hard, always hard to get extra mags you know, for a brand new gun because these mags don't fit other firearms. They, they're just for the Security 9. And uh, and I just had a feeling it, it's going to be a decent pistol, decent enough and popular enough 
that I want to have one around here to compare with other firearms. So, uh, so I have one myself, and, and I'll continue shooting it, and uh, you know, keep you posted on how it goes. We'll do a, a chapter two later after I've shot it a lot more, even. And uh, of course, the truth comes out on the internet, on the web. You know, any issues people are having with it, uh, opinions on it, and all that kind of thing. It's a, uh, it's a firearm. I, I can't come up with a lot of uh, reasons to. To bash it, I tell you. Uh, even though it may not be my first choice for a carry gun, uh, I, you know, person could do worse. The trigger, uh, it's okay. It's it's. Uh, John shot it quite a bit, and uh, kind of, we have kind of the same opinion on the trigger. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, it, it's nothing that's going to be a deal killer if you want to get a pistol in this price range, or if you just had to carry it for some reason it's, it's not a deal killer at all it's just a little different feel and uh, of course it's got the sharp edge for me but that's just me it's not even john so uh, it's not likely to be an issue with many of you out there uh, so yeah you got your standard safeties on the trigger and all that i think you can reverse that uh, mag release i'm not sure on that so it's not i not like super ambidextrous or anything you don't have the slide lock on the other side or the or the safety anything like that i mean again for that kind of money i'm, I'm surprised they can even build it like it is uh but uh that's what you got i've got another mag hiding somewhere yeah uh well you want me to shoot some more hollow points okay i heard somebody say yes they uh, they think they're going to be carrying it for defense and they'd like to see some more hollow points let's do that Another mag of these HSTs. Appreciate Federal helping us with this. All right. Like I said, uh, people that support us are easy to find on our website or in the description. We're uh, improving our website as I speak. I don't know when you'll be seeing this. Uh, not too long since we did it because we'll want to go ahead and get it up there because so many people have been asking us about this firearm. But. Uh, on our website, we have links. Anybody that's helping us currently, okay? And we appreciate that. Do you know who helps us the most? You all. All right. Uh, what are the lies? This, oh, you got like a witness hole there to tell if it's loaded. I don't see any brass, so maybe it's not loaded. Um, it's, I, I don't think it's a bad looking gun. I mean, I, it seems a little chunky with a slide, but it's just something about the the design of it it looks thicker than the glock but it's really not uh maybe it's just a lot literally a hair or something but it's uh they're they're essentially the same they both weigh right at uh it's like 23 and a half ounces or 24 they're, they're really the same weight so that's the difference okay not much not much uh i know people get weary of uh, folks talking about the glock 19 but it kind of is the standard in this sort of pistol, in this category of pistols, uh, that all others, or by which all others are judged, however you want to say it. And uh, you know, go to your local gun shop, ask them how many Glock 19s they sell, if, they, if they're a well-stocked fire, uh, you know, firearms dealer. All right, let's shoot this paper target. You know what, I am getting tired of that pigeon staring at me too. I'm gonna shoot him first. Oh, that was mean. That was mean. Well, <laughs> sounds like demonetization time. Killed a pigeon on on the uh, on video. Feels good. I I do. I tend to want to, if I'm not careful, want to pull it left and even even high. Seems like more so than. Low left, which is usually what you do if you're right-handed. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty good shooting pistol. Slide fell down. Let's shoot a pot. See if it'll smoke pot. Yep. It did. See if it'll hit a stop sign. Let's go ahead and empty it. Yeah, yeah. The trigger reset's not a problem. You can tell it's a little longer, but uh, not a big deal. Uh, let's, uh, maybe I should try something difficult like that, uh, middle red plate over there. See if I can get in the vicinity of it. 
I think it's hanging in the dirt, so it's not going to ring, I don't guess, too well. But Got that sucker. Oh, no, I didn't. I pulled left and hit the ram. <laughs> oh, I was shooting at the ram, I meant to tell you. Oh, boy. Well, let's just try that uh, turkey over there. I wasn't going to give up. Uh, put an oval on the gong. All right. It's a fine shooter. Uh, I guess that's a basic question people have because when they see that price, you know, you can't help but be a little wary, suspicious maybe. Uh, we all know Ruger is kind of their thing making you know pretty nice firearms uh, uh at, at very reasonable price okay uh, and that seems to be what this thing is uh you know it's got the big trigger guard if you're wearing gloves or if you're from kentucky and you're wearing mittens uh you might be able to even use it i don't know uh the trigger is not bad it's got a little bit of when you get back there it's not a not a hundred percent crisp but it's it's Pretty good. It's very much like an LCP2. Uh, so, you know, not bad. Uh, what else have I not told you about it before I finish off that magazine? Uh, the weight, you know, is this, it's right there with the 19, Glock 19. Uh, size wise, essentially the same. Uh, it's, you know, it's got that, that you might call it funky, you know, that, uh, that hammer mechanism like the LCP. I don't, LCP2, uh, so many LCs, this and that, you know, in the Ruger lineup, I have trouble keeping them straight sometimes, but it's very much like that. And uh, size-wise, I know holsters, that's why I have this holster out here. I have to have visual reminders, right? It, it seems to fit a Glock holster, a Glock 19 holster, a Glock 17 holster uh, just fine. Now, if it's a, a, a molded holster, uh, Kydex, you know, just, just to, to fit perfectly and tight, you know, it may not fit that one, but anything that's flexible at all, like that, or the one I have on here, you know, it just tucks right in there as for a Glock 19, you know, just fine. So, a little info on that. Again, surprise, surprise, it's the same size, same dimensions. I think the only thing that would be a little different is the, uh, the trigger guard. That usually gets you, uh, I know with like some XD or XDMs, the guns are about the same size, maybe. Uh, even if they're a little thicker, but your trigger guards got a little different contour. So I don't know, that may not block on some. You just have to try it. Uh, so uh, there you go. You get two mags with them. And, uh, you know, I, I, you know, unless some, someone uncovers something or we uncover something as, as we continue to shoot it more, you know, I, it, it looks like it's going to be a, a firearm that would be worthy of taking a look at if you're looking for a fire and boy i get that question so so often anybody that does videos i know does or uh, test firearms that kind of thing you know it's if it's not this it's the ar you know what's the best ar you think or ak for 800 or thousand you know those kinds of things and same with a handgun you know what's what's a good defensive pistol for under 400 or under 200 <laughs> under uh, 500 you know they, uh, lots of times it's someone who just can't quite get the money together for a, for a Glock or a SIG or something in that five, six, seven hundred dollar range. And they want something in this price range. So I would look at it, uh, look at it, look at it hard, you know, and uh, give it some consideration at least. You might not like it. You may just, that trigger, uh, the trigger might uh, turn off more people really than anything about it, uh, even though it's not that bad. Just depends on what your preferences are when it comes to a trigger. Let's pull it out of the holster, okay? It's kind of a defensive pistol, and uh, it just so happens we've got a couple of uh, desperados that need uh, to be defended against. I 
since I had hollow points in it then, I thought that would probably be the best ammo to uh, take them out. So yeah, I tend to, to, to go a little bit left with it. Uh, so, but you know, I just need to shoot it more if I were gonna carry it. But it, it shoots fine, it shoots fine. I say, John and I both have shot it. Uh, in some ways he's harder to please than I am. Uh, I shot, have shot probably more firearms than him, and I'm, I, maybe I can adjust a little bit more easily. I don't know, the crazy firearms, crazy triggers or something like that. That's about the only thing I might have on him. He can shoot as well as I can. Uh, and he, he kind of likes it. You know, the trigger's a little odd, but he kind of likes it. And uh, that's, that's a compliment from John. <laughs> he he kind of likes it, okay. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. It's, uh, Ruger's a great company, and it's good to see him come out with something that uh, is probably uh, going to be a popular pistol. And, and what I like about it, now we may discover, you know, again, uh, you may have a couple of them and they break apart or they malfunction and they just don't work. You know, we'll all be watching what uh, everybody's finding out about it, of course. So, uh, uh, so I'm not trying to sell it, just give you our opinion of it. But I love it when people are trying to do the things I like in a pistol, and like I was talking about, you know, make it more uh, uh, melted and uh, smaller and not so heavy. You know, firearm this size, holding 15 rounds, a defensive pistol, it needs to be a certain weight, and you can't get them down to 15 ounces probably. If you did, it's gonna kick like crazy, right? It may not hold up at all, I don't know. It's meant to be a, a defensive pistol. It's not meant to be a military pistol. This isn't one that was submitted to the military, you know? So if you compared it with something like the, the FN 509 or what else, I don't know, the VP, the HK, some of those firearms, the Glocks even, you, you can start comparing it and doing torture tests in terms of let's just shoot a thousand rounds here, you know, in 30 minutes and see how it does. And, you know, beside a Glock or, or an FN or something, yeah, it might not fare so well. I don't know. Uh, you know, as it gets dirty and hot, don't know. But it's not really designed for that. It wasn't a military submission. Uh, so it's, uh, but for what it is and for the price, now I've done a pretty good job of not saying for the money every 10 seconds, but I'm going to say it again. Uh, you know, for the price and for the money, it seemed like a good pistol. I don't think you, uh, at least at this point, what we know about it, that you'd be going wrong, okay? So something to, to look at. And I think I've pointed out the things you might not like, you know, the trigger, maybe the, the breakdown system, and, and that I'm not sure what else might just really turn you off. But uh, not a bad little pistol. The Security 9, you know, that's kind of in keeping with the line of firearms Ruger has offered over the decades, you know, the Security 6. Uh, and uh, of course, that was because it held six rounds. This Security 9, I don't know where that comes from because it holds more than nine. So they just kind of goofed up on that. Oh, wait a minute, it's a nine millimeter, isn't it? Well, anyway, Security 9 doesn't seem like a bad pistol for the money. Life is good. Hey Dad, will you throw me another pot? All right, cool. Yeah, I'm just setting up here for another video. Wanted to remind you guys to check out our friends over at SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute. They are a fully accredited online distance learning program where you get certified in gunsmithing and get an associate's degree in firearms technology. They also accept GI Bill. So check them out over at sdi.edu. And also check out our friends at vaultexsafe.com. You've seen the pistol safes on the, uh, the, the main shooting table in some of our videos. So check them out if you need one of those. And also go to hickok45.com and you can find basically everything that you need to know about us. You can see all of our various supporters over there and stay up to date on uh, our Facebook pages and uh, Twitter, Hickok45 on Facebook, the real Hickok45 at Instagram, uh, there's also the Hickok 45 and Sun YouTube channel, all that kind of stuff, and full30.com. We've got videos over there. So just go to hickok45.com, and that's where you can basically find anything else you need to know. And also our store, don't forget that.